Hello YouTube, Shane here with video number 7 on the indoor 20 gallon aquaponics playlist. In this video I'll be going over some new updates I have for the system and some updates that I'll be bringing very soon. So as you can see the entire unit is now painted. I used two coats of really thick paint that already had a primer included into it and then I put two coats of polyurethane on top of that to try to help make this whole thing waterproof. And here's a side view of the aquarium. You can see I added a one gallon paint bag right here that sits, the pump sits inside of that and I just have a plastic pin there with all the parts removed just holding that bag tight so no solids can go up into the grow bed. And here at the intake of the grow bed I've also added another one gallon paint bag that I have sticking down into the pipe. It just sits all the way down in there so if there's any solids that ever do somehow get into that grow bag or that paint bag down below into this one it would also have to get through this bag for any solids to actually get into this grow bed. Another important update is this lid right here. It's just a simple little grid, but this will keep rocks out of the bell siphon area because you don't want any rocks getting down into that area. That little two dollars might save you a lot of time and trying to clean later. I also bought some chemicals to help with the pH and I picked up this uh, liquid potash, kind of expensive, but came from a local store, so help them out once or twice. This just needs a couple squirts, and it'll raise the pH and also add some potassium to the water. And I also picked up a little bottle of calcium hydroxide from the same store. It was an aquarium art store right down the street. And this will also raise the pH of the tank when needed. And here at the water going back into the tank, I added this little tube right here that's at the very top of the 90 that goes straight down. And that loops once around here. And it just sticks in the tank about 4 inches. And this creates its own siphon and just helps push the water out that much quicker out of the tank from the grow bed. And here's that cable actually working as a siphon. You can see the water coming out right there. Kind of move the pipe. And my cat's attacking the camera. So this loose tube here is the one that's connected to the very top of the elbow, 90 degree, that's going straight down into the tank. So that's all the updates I have for now. I still am going to box all this in. I'm going to get fish soon as well. And I'm going to box all this in and screen off all this plant area still. So, lots still to come and fish and plants very soon. Leave any comments or questions you have and thanks for watching. Bye!